Hello, welcome to this session. Today we are going to talk about some hidden things. It's not uh, any treasure or something. It is related to heat. Latent heat. Latent means hidden. Okay, let me ask you some question. You have a water in solid form. It means you have ice at zero degree Celsius temperature. Okay. And you have given some heat here some amount of heat I don't know how much but you have given some amount of heat and your water solid form got converted into the liquid form at the same temperature 0 degree Celsius can you tell me using this formula regular formula whatever you have used before Q is equal to MC delta T using this formula can you tell me what is the temperature of this and why there is no change in temperature where this heat went is this right formula to apply this heat in this in this conditions do we have any other formula for this kind of things do we have these are the questions I am asking you probably you have you might have given right answer let me go ahead with this okay probably you will say no 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 this is not the right formula you have to have some another formula for this kind of conversion for this kind of state conversion because it's not changing the temperature right and this formula will be applicable if you change the temperature then whatever heat will transfer this formula will tell you okay that much of heat has been transferred but here there's no change in temperature means you have to have a, some different formula I'll tell you what okay now second thing first one fine second you have a liquid for example water here uh, water is very easy to explain you have 100 degree Celsius liquid uh, water and means it's, it's kind of boiling yeah but it's still it's still it's not boiling sorry it's not boiling it's like 100 degree Celsius temperature uh, you have water with 100 degree temperature you have given more heat now what will happen it will start boiling means it will get into the vaporized state but still the temperature of vapor will be 100 degree Celsius right unless you put the pressure I'm not talking about that uh, you vapors vapors temperature will be 100 degree Celsius but you have given some heat but there's no change in temperature it means this formula is not complete for heat transfer we have to have another formula which should not be related to temperature which should be related to the state change that we call latent heat and the formula means if you have okay let's take this example 1 kg water if you take 1 kg ice you will give some 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 heat you will get 1 kg approximately 1 kg water in liquid form right if you increase this water from 1 kg to 2 kg you have to you have to give more Q more heat to convert into the liquid form it means your this heat this we call it latent for example at this time because this heat is not increasing is not helping this substance to increase the temperature let's call it latent heat Q this should be proportional to mass of substance it means Q should be equal to some constant let's call this constant L Q is equal to ML L will be the latent heat constant this is the latent heat latent heat constant unit of latent heat constant would be would be joule per kg or whatever okay now for 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 liquid for uh, this one from solid state to liquid state we will have some latent heat from liquid state to vapor, right, vapor state or gas state we will have another latent heat for example for water for water latent heat of fusion this is this is fusion right this is fusion and this is vaporization vaporization okay latent heat of fusion LF is, is equal to 80 calorie per gram this you got to remember 80 calorie per gram 80 calorie per 
gram and L of vaporization this should be equal to this you got to remember 540 540 calorie per gram if you are talking in terms of joule per kg your number will get changed a little bit okay this is in terms of calorie per gram okay this is the latent heat of fission and latent heat of vaporizations hope this latent heat fund is clear now okay this would be applicable for other liquid also but the value will change this is standard value you have to remember and this will be there for 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 uh, for liquid for water only right it means let's take one example like very very easy example here you have a ice this is ice and you have given some heat called q1 this is m gram of ice q1 it melt down let me take some different color it melt down and you got liquid liquid of mass m again water liquid of mass m and then here you have given q1 heat and then it transferred into liquid state again you have applied heat here which is q2 and you change the temperature of this liquid from 0 degree here 0 degree Celsius here again 0 degree Celsius and you change it to 0 to 100 degree Celsius same term everything is same but here temperature is 100 degree Celsius temperature okay and again you've given heat here again you have given heat here Q3 okay you have given heat Q3 and you transferred it to vapor state you can say vapor state 100 degree Celsius 100 degree Celsius vapor state okay means you have two heat first is a Q1 which will be M L F M L F let me write it here here Q1 will be mass of ice L fission then you have given heat Q2 Q2 should be equal to MC delta T delta T is 100 delta T sorry delta T is 100 yeah Q2 you have given a change in temperature 0 to 100 degree Celsius then again Q3 will be equal to M L vaporization the total heat required to transfer 0 degree Celsius ice to 200 degree Celsius vapor would be MLF plus MC delta T plus MLV right then total heat required to transfer solid to gas would be M would be common LF LF plus C delta T plus LV okay that's a formula I have a one interesting question for you but looks like I'm running out of time uh, we'll solve that questions in next lecture bye for now see you in the next lecture bye